guys, Diamond for Games Live Diamond Gaming. Welcome back to another Warframe video. Now you're probably thinking, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. well, that's actually the exact point of this video. So I'm going to be telling you most of the things that you want to know, but it, I was going to try to keep it brief, but it turns out there's a lot of things that you'd really want to know before you actually get started because, well, once you get started, you don't want to mess around and end up making six accounts like I did. So, notice on this video that my mic does crap out on me a few times, I don't really know why it does that, maybe it's because it was too close to my mouth or something, I'm not sure. And also, my explaining isn't exactly the best, not A-grade explaining, so you might want to really pay attention and really try and make sure you notice what I'm trying to say, because this is going to be some pretty important stuff in, throughout the game, and like throughout your entire gameplay of the game. So, let's get into it. A Warframe is a third-person action shooter made by the guys at Digital Extremes. Di dig 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 digital Extremes. It's also a free-to-play game on Steam, so that means that if you want to go buy it, well, you don't even have to go buy it because it's free. As the story goes, you play as an extinct race of warriors called the Tenno, who wear these different, well, they're called Exo armors, as described in a wiki, called Warframes. Now there are various different Warframes that you can choose from. Either you could buy them from the market with your own money, or you could actually find every single part for each one and build them. Now when building a Warframe, all the parts that you can find are going to be a helmet, a chassis, and the systems. And to get all these different parts, depending on the Warframes, you either have to go to certain bosses and missions, or you have to go and find them in different places. Now this is the foundry. Now once you get every single part for your Warframe, you have to build all of them with components. You find components around all these different places from all these different planets to special missions. But not only can you build Warframes around in here, you can also build different weapons. So if you don't want to buy anything or you don't have the money for it, it's good to get the blueprints from the market and build it in the foundry. Now this is the market. Here, this is where you can get pretty much all the things that you need. Well, when it comes to building, where you can buy the blueprints, or if you have the money, you can actually buy the weapons yourself. Now there are two different ways to actually buy things in Warframe. One, with credits, which is mostly used for blueprints for your weapons and your Warframes. And you, or you can use Platinum. This you need to buy with actual money. I recommend that you buy a Steam card, and once you redeem the code in your Steam account, you can go into the market, go to get Platinum, and you can buy the certain amount of that you want, mostly depending on how much money that you have. Now when you've bought or built something, you will go to your arsenal. Now your arsenal holds everything that you have, if you have enough space that is. Now in your arsenal, if you go to your inventory, it will show you how much space you have for something, what you have, and how much the sell price is, so you can get more credits. Now here you'll see your warframes and how much space you have for warframes. Your weapons and how much space you have for your, warf for your weapons. And your miscellaneous, which will basically be all the components and all the blueprints. You can customize the way your Warframe looks and the way your weapons look. But to do this, you just go hover over the thing, go to appearance, and you can go through here and change all the sexy colors. But note that once you start the game, you'll only be able to choose all these ones in the middle. The rest you can buy with 75 platinum. Now with your Warframe customization, for more, you can put animation stats on your guy, which will show different ways that your guy or your girl, depending on which Warframe you're using, will hold your weapons and stand and pretty much all around look. You can also buy helmets, which will increase and decrease stats, or Cyandanas, which are pretty much like things that you want to buy if you have extra money, well, extra platinum. Now these things look pretty good, so I recommend that you do buy one if you get a chance. Also, event badges. Now, sometimes you'll notice that Warframe will have an update and it will have like a certain event that will pop up. Now, event badges are basically what you get once you actually do the mission. Further into customization, if you go to upgrades, you'll notice all these different things. Now, these are called mods. Now, what mods do are they are used to help you, well, help your Warframe become better. Now, with a good mod build, your Warframe could get balanced out and have some really good abilities. Now, if you notice that some Warframes, their stats will be kind of bad for certain things and really good for other things. So that definitely helps with your mod build, which will something, be something that you want to pay attention to. Notice in the top right corner that every Warframe ability, well, mod, has a certain symbol on the top. Now, these symbols are called polarities. Now, what polarities do is that you want to match them up with every single polarity slot that actually shows. So if you put it in, notice that this has 7 space that takes up, so if you put it in the same polarity, it will decrease the space by half, 
But if it's like an odd number, then it'll take the bigger half. Now before I end the video, let's talk about the different mission types. With every mission, there are different levels of enemies. Notice that as you progress in the game and unlock different planets, the missions will get harder and harder and harder. So here's how the missions go. Extermination, have to kick all the asses. Rescue, save somebody's ass and bring his ass back. Capture, find this guy's ass, kick his ass, and then bring his ass back. Spy, you have to find these different data masses and bring these asses all the way back to, ex to extraction. Sabotage, you have to find this big ass thing and break all of the crap on it so you can actually, well, destroy it and then you can come back. Assassination, you have to find this main guy's ass and kick his ass. Fence mission, where you have to protect this guy's ass or this thing's ass from other people's asses. Survival, you gotta keep your ass alive by beating other people's asses. Nobody on the fence, you have to bring this thing's ass into the computer's ass and then you have to beat ass while you're trying to protect that thing's ass. And interception. It's basically like domination in Warframe. Now what you gotta do is protect these asses and you have to kick ass while protecting these asses. And then once you beat the mission, then you gotta beat everyone's ass. So that's pretty much all the missions. The worthless factions. Now these are gonna be the type of enemies that you'll fight. Now there are three different types of factions in the game. There are the Grenier. The infested. And there are also the desert snakes, which are pretty much the only ones that are classification, classification in the wild. And also, with the different void missions, which would be like extra missions for even more money and even more special stuff, there are the corrupted. So yeah, that means I was wrong. There are five. Okay, so I hope I helped you with a brief summary about the game. And um, there's also, I noticed a few things that I did not mention, so if you play the game and you have any questions about it, then don't, don't forget to tell in the comments because then I'll try to answer all the questions because there are still a lot more things in this game besides just the stuff I mentioned in the video. So like, remember, if you have any more questions, just tell in the comments. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. All I want to talk about was this game because, well, since it's a major thing about my channel, I figured that you actually would want to know exactly what the hell I'm playing. So that's pretty much all I can offer for this video. So like and definitely slap that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment what you like, dislike, or anything else you want to say. And if you wish to, don't hit the, go ahead and hit that favorite button because, <laughs> oh, I would appreciate it. So that's pretty much all I can say for this video. So I'm Diamond for Game Slash Diamond Gaming, and I will see you later.